So how are you guys? Good. 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 So have you guys ever been to a medium before? Oh, no. We, I we have. Like one, yeah, no. we went to one. We went to oh, one. you did? Yeah. I have not. Oh, you have not? I have not. Oh, okay. You know, um, everyone is different. There's no right or wrong way uh, to channel your loved ones. So um, what happens is once I give my speech to you, that is my sign to your loved ones that I am ready to work. And what they do is they start to clear out my own personal thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Um, are you talking to spirit right now as I'm talking? Uh. Well, I keep hearing mom, mom. So is your mom departed? Mm -hmm. Is that, were you saying something to your mom? I didn't even get through my speech yet, <laughs> but were you saying to yourself, mom? What already your mother has done was validated for you that she hears you. She knows when you're thinking about her, when you're saying, I wish you were here for this moment, or you're missing out, validating that your mother's soul is with you. My mom was my best friend, <laughs> and without her, my whole my chest is empty. It's like a hole missing in my heart. <laughs> and I don't think it will ever be replaced. And she was an amazing person. Do you have like a stuffed animal or something that your mom gave you? When they were younger, she had bought them bunny rabbits. But wait, was yours like blue and now you have like a pink one or something? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're, they're pink and blue. <laughs> mine was pink and he stole mine because he lost his. I slept with it all the time. So and it was pink. I was amazed that Teresa would bring that up. When we were younger, our mom got us all stuffed rabbits and I lost mine and then I took Emily's. Miss her terribly. Are you you guys all siblings? Triplets. We're triplets. Oh, your triplets, and what are you? I'm the older sister. Uh, like, I keep hearing patty cake, patty cake, <gasps> baker's man. My mom called him patty cakes. Patty cakes. Yeah. <laughs> That's his contact name on my phone. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, patty cakes. My siblings are special because they're triplets. There's three of them. So it's three times the trouble, I guess you could say. <laughs> I was seven when they were born, and now they're 18. So. My dad wasn't around since I was born. He was there for like a couple of months, but that's about it. And my mom was an amazing single parent. My mother handled the transition of the new divorce and you know having new children, and not just one, there was three, so it was a shock. Um, she was great. She was a dual parent almost. It was so funny because we used to give her Father's Day cards too. Mm. She just had this quality to make you feel so loved. It's a feeling that I don't think I'll ever get back and I miss it. Were you not expecting your mom to pass when she died? Um, no, not in any way. Who was laying in the bed with her? Um, was it you? It was you, because you were the only one that was small enough to fit in the bed with her. So know that your mother knew that you were all there, but more importantly, that you were laying with her. Our mother passed away two years ago from lung cancer. I really thought, if anyone's going to be cancer, it's going to be mom. There's no way that she can't. The lung cancer was stage four. She suffered for nine months, which is pretty good when they gave her three months to live. So she didn't stop fighting her battle. But at the end of the day, I guess cancer won. How do you connect with the number 23? 23. I feel like it's an age. At the time. It was 23 died. when she passed away. You always ask your mom, do you think I'm doing the right thing? Yeah. Okay. So know that your mom says to you that I want you to know how proud I am of you. And I know how you have put your life on hold for everyone else. So know that your mother wants to thank you. She makes me feel like that you fought to, to be with them, so I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, it, you know, our parents had divorced right after they were born, and um, our dad really hadn't had a big part in our lives. So after she had passed away, um, I had to legally take him to court to win custody of them for guardianship. So you fought? Mm-hmm. 
for your sisters and your brother. Yeah, I couldn't do life without them after everything that's happened. So know that your mom wants you to know how proud she is of you and wants to thank you for fighting for them. I love them. <laughs> I knew that when my mom passed away that I was going to be their guardian. I knew that it was gonna be a battle, a battle that I won, but they were the only three other people in this world that grew up with me and knew the love that our mother had. And, you know, you have to make sacrifices, but you make sacrifices for your family. And at 23, it was really hard. And there's a lot of things I missed out on, but I wouldn't trade it for a minute. Kaylin definitely stepped up to the plate and took us in. I don't know many people that could, could have took on this task. She was just out of college, taking care of three kids that are in high school. She helped us grow as a family, I think, because we knew only us together would be able to get us through this tough time. Your mom says, now you worry that something's gonna happen to you. Oh my God, I do it And that yeah. you are then going to leave them because that's what happened to mom. She says, I need you to stop going over this. She says, I want you to take all of those fears and I want you to release them to me. She says, that was my life, it wasn't yours. I appreciate hearing my mother say to stop thinking that I'm always gonna get sick, but I'm just so scared that something's gonna happen to me and then they're just gonna be there by themselves. And I don't wanna see that happen. You just got, you got chills through your whole body? Mm -hmm. Know that that was your mom's soul. Having this reading with Teresa, I will definitely start living life the way that I want to and probably should have started doing a while ago. And now I know that my mom's always with me, so I won't always have that second doubt in my mind that maybe she's not, but definitely to live and definitely to stop thinking that I'm always gonna get sick. Mm. Probably stop doing that too. <laughs> This was amazing. I can guarantee you that I will never forget you guys. You guys were awesome and amazing. Thank you. Thank um, you. And I hope that your experience today will help you. As these things go on in your life, you're gonna sit back and you can go, you know what? I miss my mom. I wish she was here, but I know she's with me in spirit. I needed this a lot. For a while, I didn't know if I was ever gonna come out of being sad. To get that validation that she's watching you and she's there when you least expect it. So yes, they're not physically here, but I guess it's where you hold them close. Bye, Patty Kay. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good boy, you like my Larry. <laughs> All right, That's guys, so take care. Bye. 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 Bye.